Find the amplitude, the period, and the phase shift, and sketch the graph of the equation 3 cosine of pi x plus 4 pi. Well, the amplitude is the absolute value of a, where a is the coefficient of the cosine curve. That's just going to be 3, so this curve will go up and down to plus 3 and down to minus 3. The period is found for the cosine, uh, or the sine for that matter, by doing 2 pi over the absolute value of b, where b is the coefficient of x in the argument of the cosine. That is pi in this case, and so we have 2 pi over pi, or just pi. Now, the phase shift can be found by e uh, either using the formula negative c over b, where c is 4, or by using an interval from 0 to 2 pi and transforming it, as I'll show you in a second. Um, we could find the phase shift in this case, as I said, to be negative c over b, and that's negative 4 pi divided by pi. <coughs> um, and that's going to give us a phase shift of negative 4 units. So the starting point for the cosine curve that we're going to sketch is going to start 4 units to the, to the left of the origin. We can also see that phase shift and also get some more useful, useful information for sketching our graph by starting with an interval from 0 to 2 pi over the argument, or for the argument, pi x plus 4 pi. That's the argument of the cosine function that we had uh, been given. So if we look at that argument between 0 and 2 pi, that'll give us one full cycle of the cosine curve, and from peak to peak, that cycle will look a bit like this. Uh, notice that if our xy axis is here, then then the cosine curve starts at, at 1 and, and ends at 1 2 pi units later. We're going to sketch that same same basic shape, only we're going to do it over an interval, um, uh, that, and the range of that interval we're going to find right now. If we add, or rather subtract, 4 pi from all three parts, we have negative 4 pi less than or equal to pi x less than or equal to <coughs> negative 2 pi when I subtract 4 pi here. Um, and now if I divide everything by pi, I get negative 4 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to negative 2. So the interval that will give us this basic shape for the cosine curve that's given to us in this problem will happen over an, the interval negative 4 to negative 2. Let's sketch the graph of that then. By the way, the phase shift of negative 4 can be seen here. That's what I was mentioning earlier, that there are two ways to find the phase shift. You can always just look for the the uh, new value that uh, is at the left end of that interval after you've transformed it, solved for x. So um, we're going to need to sketch this, and, and since the primary cycle I'm going to sketch starts at negative 4, I should extend out a little further in that x direction. There's negative 2 and 0. Everything that of interest to us is going to happen on the interval from negative 4 to negative 2 as we solve this interval. The maximum value for our function is going to be at 3 because the amplitude is 3, and that will occur at negative 4, uh, since that's where the cycle that we're going to sketch begins. The maximum will also occur at negative 2, the right end of this interval, again corresponding to this point on this curve that I had sketched. The minimal point occurs halfway in between those two, and that is a, a value of negative 3. That's going to be down about here. And there will be zeros for the cosine curve halfway in between each of these um, key points that we've identified. So halfway between negative 3 and negative 4, the curve will pass through 0. That's, of course, at negative 3.5. Here is at negative 2.5. We'll have another 0. And I can sketch the graph of the cosine curve as, uh, as follows. So there's one cycle of the cosine curve. If I repeat this by using the period to identify new points, I see that the min that had occurred at negative 3 will also occur at negative 1, two units to the right of negative 3 because 2 is the period. The max that occurred at negative 2 will also occur at 0, again, two units to the right. If I want to find another min, I'll go two units to the right again. That would be a positive 1. And so on, we can start filling in the, the gaps. Um, two units to the right of, of this negative 2.5 will be negative, uh, let's see, what will it be? That, that would be over here at negative 0.5. I can find this point by going two units to the right of negative 3.5. That's a pretty shoddy sketch. Sorry about that. Try that again. Here's a better attempt, I hope. And we can see this curve is going to continue tracing out uh, to the right. There's a good starting point for our, for our sketch.